Thank you very much and uh, good morning to all. Dear President Kagame, co-chair of this commission, dear Hulin Shao, Secretary General of the ITU, dear uh, Moes, representative of UNESCO, dear Nick uh, Clegg and Kevin Martin, our hosts, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It is a real pleasure to be with all of you today, this morning. As you know, Mr. Carlos Slim has consistently attended the meetings of this commission. Uh, unfortunately, this time something last minute came up, which is why uh, that did not allow his presence today. I bring his warm greetings and his best wishes for a successful meeting. I will make some opening remarks on his behalf. Let me begin by expressing our gratitude to Facebook for hosting this meeting here at their headquarters. Being in Silicon Valley puts the spotlight on where the fourth industrial revolution effectively started. I'm sure the spirit of the valley will impact our discussions. Perhaps it will even inspire us. This commission began its work nine years ago, almost a decade. During this period, technology, regulation, prices, applications, and services have had profound transformations. Now the industry is able to offer 1,000 times more speed for the same price. Technology has evolved from low speed internet and mobile voice and messages only to emails, applications, e-commerce, social networks, video and high speed broadband. For each service, prices have drastically declined. Penetration and coverage have increased, although much contrast exists among regions. ITU has indicated that only 15% of households in least developed countries have internet access at home, compared to 85% in developed nations. Innovation and significant investments have occurred. When looking at specific policies and results by regions, it is clear the advantage of having a proper regulation. As the New Deal expert group noted, Regulators should simplify and modernize their regulatory frameworks in a manner that encourages innovation, generates investment, and benefits consumers. Regulation should have stable conditions to give confidence and certainty for investment. It should not penalize size, but abuse of dominant positions, and should promote competition. This is key, competition. A call has also been made for appropriate taxes and spectrum charges. What is necessary is a strategy, a smart strategy for public sector revenue. Taxes should not disincentivize industry investments or impact low income consumers by targeting ICT equipment. Regarding infrastructure, when a network is built, it allows connectivity for all. Regulation should maximize the opportunity of convergence, allowing all types of services over any network. Infrastructure sharing should also be a priority via adequate agreements. It reduces investment needs and allows lower prices, stimulating usage. This is particularly relevant as we discuss the infrastructure moonshot for Africa. Digital literacy is extremely important. Relevant content development is also an essential component for inclusion. And national broadband plans as promoted by the Commission with comprehensive digital agendas have had a positive impact. In my opinion, we need to move forward and persist in all these aspects. We need to benefit from the best practices in the sector and from the experiences of the first nine years of this commission. And what about the future? We are living in an era of good technological fortune. Every year we have new networks, devices, and applications that have more capabilities, are faster, and with smaller latency at transmission. The arrival of 5G opens tremendous additional opportunities to access high definition content and to expand the use of artificial intelligence and the internet of things in all aspects of modern life. In technological areas and in this commission, one is obliged to be forward looking. 5G networks are arriving at a moment of profound digital transformation. This implies different challenges 
to different entities. For us, as members of this broadband commission, the digital transformation implies, in my opinion, a twofold responsibility. First, it means working to improve the digital experience and benefits of those already online. The second track is to promote actions that will result in getting the other 3.7 billion people online, avoiding a new form of potential inequality. We need to ensure this commission is a true platform for social inclusion. We will be bringing these issues to our discussion today. In closing, broadband is a tremendous and powerful gift to humanity, and we should use it wisely. That is why it is a moment to think of the best ecosystem and to implement it, to realize necessary partnerships and to materialize investments and digital skills to connect the other half. This broadband commission can do much in this direction and has been doing so, but we need to do more. We need to strengthen our advocacy role and convey more amply our messages. Once again, I thank Facebook for its warm hospitality. Our sincere thanks to Nick Clegg and to Kevin Martin. I wish a successful meeting for all of us as we move forward in issues that are crucial to shape the future of broadband in a way that it enhances the quality of life for everyone. Thank you very much. Let's have a productive meeting and smile. You're in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Thank you.